So Annex J A, it shows a home loan statement and transaction history for the period 22 September 2013 to 22 March 2014. Isn't it crazy? Like 2013 was 12 years ago. That's insane. Use Annex J A as given here to answer the questions that follow. Give the name of the borrower. Uh, his name is Boysen M. 1.1.2, state the end date, end date, sorry, uh, month and year of the loan. So the loan ends in 12 years and four months time. So we're in March 2014. If we add 12 years to, to 2014, we get 2026. And if we add four months to March, so March is the third month, the seventh month is July. That is our answer to 1.1.2. 1.1.3, calculate the difference between the insured value of the property and the registered bond amount. So we've got the 1185 here. That's the insured value minus the registered bond amount. So 1185 minus 466, that is going to be 719627,28. 1.1.4, determine the total administration fee payable for the whole loan period. So the monthly administration administration fee is 5 rand 70 cents. So that's going to be 5 rand 70 cents times 12 months a year. And the period of the home loan is 20 years. So 5 rand 70 times 12 times 20 is equal to 1368. Okay, that was 1.1.4. 1.1.5, let's do it in green. On the 30th of January 2014, the interest rate was decreased by 0.5%. Find the interest rate, rate used before the 30th of Jan 2014. So the current interest rate is 7,25%. We are going to add back the 0,5%. What it was previously, it was more. So that's going to be 7,25 plus 0,5. And that is how we get 7,75%. Calculate the VAT amount that is included in the monthly administration fee. So it's been included already. So that 5,70, that 5 rand 70, we need to take away the VAT amount. So it's got VAT included. Um, VAT during this period, it was 14%. Guys, VAT now is 15%. VAT back then was 14%. So it's already included. So we want to find what that 14% is. And that 5 rand 70, that's the 100% of the VAT excluding amount. And if we include VAT, it's an additional 14%. So that's why it's 14 over 114. That's the VAT rate. That's the excluded VAT plus the VAT rate. So 5 around 70 times 14 over 114 is equal to 70 cents. So the VAT excluded amount would have just been 5 rand. 1.1.7, uh, the term home loan. So it's it's the amount that's been borrowed to buy a house. The amount that's been borrowed to buy a house. And last question, choose one of the following statements that correctly explains why the interest amounts charged for Feb and March are different. So it is not that the interest rates changed. It's the fact that interest is charged on all outstanding balance. So the interest rate staying exactly the same. But since we're paying more and more of every month, we owe less. And if we owe less, our interest is going to be less. So the answer is going to be B. Uh, it's not the amount of interest decreases monthly. Well, yeah, it, it kind of is. But no, we want something a bit more robust. So it's going to be B.